Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here is an ebook haul for y'all. So these are all the books that I ended up downloading last month, whether it be on Kindle Unlimited or I got them for free. So first we're gonna go with my Kindle Unlimited borrows. First I have Whole lot of Grump by Cassie Mint. I honestly was just wanting a Cassie Mint to have in my Kindle library in case I needed a novella. And um, it looks like this is a grumpy sunshine book. It says he's surly and mean. He makes grown men cower. And I give him massages every week. Oh, so she's been his masseuse. Everyone in this city has heard of Hudson Katz, the Midas man. Every project he touches turns to gold, but he's not famous for his success or not only for that anyway. No, Mr. Katz is famous for being a giant grade A grump. That's where I come in. My healing hands, my soothing demeanor, it's my job to help the big grouch relax, except he's different with me. So real and raw and touching him feels so good. I don't ever want to stop. I pick up a Cassie Man book when I just want like a palette cleanser. So this one's available to me when I need that. Next one that I have on KU is The Duke and I by Stacey Reed. This is the second book in her Forever Your series, which is one of the historical romance series that she has on Kindle Unlimited. I've read the first book. Um, our heroine in that one is blind. So I really liked the disability representation. So it looks like our heroine is wanting to seduce a notorious Duke at a masquerade ball. Oh, masquerade ball is one of my buzzwords, yes. But Miss Emmeline Fitzgerald, a wallflower with no decent prospect was on such a path and her quarry was her brother's best friend. Elliot Winthrop, the Duke of Hartford. One moment of sin, stolen pleasure, and irresistible passion, that was all it was supposed to be. Little did Emma realize everything about her was imprinted in Elliot's heart and mind. Oh my gosh, so he's been pining after her. <sighs> Love that. Next is Hoarded by the Dragon by Lillian Lark. I'm currently reading this one. It looks like our heroine gets hired to um, perform this kind of like heist and steal this ruby, I want to say. She gets hired to steal this ruby, um, but it's in this dragon shifters layer and um she's like okay i'll let like you can give me to the authorities however i can tell you're in heat right now and um i'll give you this night of passion however long your heat lasts and in exchange you give me the ruby please so and i think she ends up pregnant so i'm having a fun time so far i've only read chapter one next is ruling sick fan by victoria Aveline, book number seven and her clicanian alien romance series people love this one who've read the series and um i've read all the other ones I need to get caught up with the series. I was supposed to read this in January. I just ended up not getting to it for whatever reason. Um, but this is an alien romance series about human women going onto the planet Clicania. They end up getting like illegally kidnapped from Earth and they crash on Clicania. Well, first some evil guys on the planet end up kidnapping them, abducting them from Earth. And this is about those women finding their romance. And all I've seen of this book is like the cover art that the author has commissioned for this book and like the man the man this way this man looks and this cover art oh give it to me now his tattoos mm, i i need i need it okay i need it so i need to read about this man that has my jaw dropping when i see like art of him there's one of him in a throne I was sold. Next, I have Guarded by the Snake by Layla Fay. This was Layla Fay's newest release. It got on KU. I just got it the day that it released and it came out on January 24th. So I think the hero is the heroine's bodyguard and he's like a snake creature. Sounds fun. You know me and my monster romances. Next is Wolf God by Veronica Douglas. This is the first book in the Ruthless God series. I don't remember why I downloaded this, but I think it's a fantasy romance and I was in like a fantasy romance mood. It says some monsters just need to be tamed. The dark wolf god was a monster of legend, a shifter so powerful that he could lay waste to the world and make alphas bow before him. I didn't believe he was real. Then four weeks ago, he attacked my pack and nearly ended my life. Now he's claimed me. When a war with the Fae threatens his realm, he tears me from my world and makes me his captive. He believes I have the power to free him from a curse, but unless I figure out what kind of magic I have, he'll never let me go. He's my enemy, but there's no denying the heat between us or the bonds that ties us together. Should I defy the monster or could the man behind the beast be redeemed? Ooh, yes. Okay, now I can see why I downloaded this. Okay, um, it looks fantasy, but I think it's more paranormal. And it looks like this is part one of a three book series about Samantha and Caden. Ooh, okay. And it like it increases in steam apparently after every book. Um, And I read like a Kate C. Wells shifter book at the beginning of the month and loved it. Like I was obsessed that I could not put it down. And so I've been in like my paranormal wolf shifter fade and mate 
era recently um and i think the next one is like one of those two count me in i want to pick this one up like right now oh yes the next book that i have is the alpha's true mate and in quotations you have a secret baby rejected mate werewolf shifter romance sounds right up my alley right now <laughs> unlike other werewolves i never wanted a mate i would rather teach stupid mortals than inherit my family business as my father wished because i hated my blood but i met her in a bar on a chaotic night she's so distinguished and her scent drove me crazy with all my strength i forced myself to leave but i didn't want to entangle this innocent girl in my abyss but she reappeared in my class. Oh wait, it's student teacher. <gasps> it's student teacher too. Okay, loving her seemed to have already been written in my genes and I couldn't resist her no matter how hard I tried. She kindled my life, melted my frozen heart and made me picture our future. Until my father broke the illusion, I had to reject her to protect her. It took me five years to forget her. Oh, and that jumps five years. Okay, it took me five years to forget her and persuade myself that she deserved someone better and only one second to fall for her again. But was it a wise choice to drag her back into tr my troubles when she already has her new life and a lovely baby? Oh, is it his baby or no? I don't know. But again, I'm in like Faded May werewolf shifter mood. And the last book that I have off of Kindle Limited is Haven by Claire Kent. I think I saw Christy from Christy Reads a Lot talk about one of these books in this series um, in one of her videos recently. I think it's probably a wrap up. And I've heard Rachel talk about it. Rachel is Claire Kent's like biggest cheerleader, okay? And um, I was like, okay, I think it's finally time for me to pick up this series from her, I think it's post-apocalyptic, which I actually really love post-apocalyptic romances. They're really fun. So this is the first book in the Kindled series, which is that post-apocalyptic series. I don't really know what this one's even about. The summary is very vague, um, but I just I just want to start this. And they're pretty short reads. This one's only 169 pages. And I think all the other books are around that length as well. So I can't wait to pick this one up. All the rest of the books that I ended up downloading for free in January. So let's get into it. The first one is Court of Dragons by Frost K. This is the first book in the Dragon Isle War series. This is available on Kindle Limited if you're interested in it. Apparently this is the first in a new fantasy romance series inspired by the tales of Beauty and the Beast with Raylo Viking vibes. Okay, okay, let's see what this is all about. It says, as a daughter of the dragon court, Ren knows three truths, never show weakness, pay the tithe, and never trust the elves. When the enemy strikes on the eve of her wedding, Ren has no choice but to fight. Captured, she's dragged before the elvish king and given two choices, death or marriage. Okay, I love that. She submits biding her time as she plots and spies, determined to strike at the heart of the elvish royalty and take back her family's throne once more. But the more time she spends with her dangerous and achingly handsome husband, she finds herself wavering. Only the strong survive the hash moors of the Dragon Isles, and she can't afford to question her loyalties, leaving only one final choice. Strike hard and fast, never waver, it's his heart or hers. That sounds so... Fun. After reading Sergey Mass's newest book, like I am in the fantasy romance mood for sure. Next is Your Hand in Mind by Lily Foster. This is not on Kindle Limited, but you could get it for $4.99. This one's about Skylar, who has been living a perfectly ordinary life in an ordinary small town, but nothing is as it seems. Leaving the one place she's ever called home is the only way forward, but it's like her mother used to say, the grass isn't always greener. When a job as a nanny literally comes to find Skylar, she has no choice but to take it, even if it means working for the seriously uptight grump who's already gotten under her skin. So it's a nanny romance. But those old pearls of wisdom do ring true because when it comes to Leo Hale, Skylar is going to learn that you can't judge a book by its cover and that it really is darkest before the dawn. So it looks like a nanny romance. You know, I'm a sucker for those. Next is Caging Liberty by... Nicole Cipher. This is a dark captor captive romance. It's not on Kindle Limited, but right now, as I'm filming this, it's currently free. By the way, all the books I talk about are linked down below. So go click the link to see if it's still free. So it looks like our heroine is kidnapped and taken to a private island full of hungry, depraved men. And the only crumb of comfort she finds comes from one of the island residents, a man she's told to call Mr. A. He isn't quite like the rest, and he gives her hope she can't help but cling to in a place like this. She hears the rumors, learns why he keeps her in the island manor instead of taking her for himself, and still she tries to put her trust in him like he asks her. Because on an island of monsters, what choice does she have? She wants to believe his intentions are pure, but will he turn out to be the biggest liar of them all? This is the first book in a dark romance trilogy and follows the suspenseful relationship between Angel and Liberty. There's twists and turns, so get ready because nothing is as it seems. So 
sounds fun. Next is Dark Deception, A Vampire Romance by Sarah Piper. This is the first book in the Vampire Royals of New York series. This is not on KU, but it is still currently free. So go check out the link below. This one's about Charlotte and Dorian. So Charlotte is, I think like a thief and a crime boss asks her to spy on a reclusive billionaire. But Dorian is no ordinary Mark. He's charming, funny, and sinfully hot with a whiskey smooth British accent that leaves her aching for more. He's also dark, dangerous, and definitely hiding secrets, secrets that might get her killed. Hey, let's see if he's a vampire. Oh, says a vampire king, Dorian Redthorn, has more responsibilities than he can count. And Charlotte is a complication he doesn't need, but the scent of her blood is intoxicating. Her heart beat a siren call he can't resist, one stolen kiss, and Dorian knows how this ends. He claims her, or he bleeds her dry. Sounds fun. I haven't read a good vampire romance in a bit, so I want to pick up that one. And last I have, I think it's pronounced Zan by Kat Mazira. It is still currently free, so go check out the link below. It says, first love gets a second chance. Norwegian-born professional hockey player Zan Hagen has only ever loved two things, hockey and Lexi. He never imagined he'd have to choose until he was forced to let her go. After beating breast cancer at 16, Lexi Rousseau vowed to live her life with no regrets. When her singing career took off with one of the hottest pop groups in the world, her dream came true, but it cost her the only man she's ever loved. When an unexpected turn of events brings them back together, Zan and Lexi will have to learn to balance their demanding careers and irrefutable desires before history starts repeating itself. Have they finally figured out how to play the game without losing everything? Looks fun. I saw a hockey player, got it, so. Anyways, do you have it? Those are the eBooks that I downloaded recently. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to and what books you are excited to read on Kindle Unlimited. I would love to know. If you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a, um, let's do, what emoji? Let's do a frog. A frog emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.